Hello and welcome to another update video about AVAX. Quick update here, not too much to add to the last video. We continue to consolidate at a pretty high level here. I mentioned to you in the last video that, yeah, you know, we could be seeing here some kind of a, uh, of a wave five currently here in a diagonal pattern. Um, gave you a proper, you know, a rough estimation how this could look like in terms of an ascending wedge shape. This can still change. The lower um, boundary line here is not very well defined and so far it has really only topped in three waves. I don't really want to count that as the fifth because there is also the risk or the possibility that the wave four ended here and this was actually the first wave of the diagonal here the wave two we might get a three four five and so on so this can still go higher unless it completely breaks down at this stage um, but for now we're holding support so you know and we're moving in this ascending wedge I'm gonna observe that for now but I think the trend is still clearly up here and um, yeah you know without a break below the way for low which is at 1873 1874 I just see continuation to the upside here at the moment I mean the trend is up I mean the trend is still up but we're making higher highs we're making higher lows um, we have though something that you could consider bearish divergence I can see that on various time frames for example here on the four hour chart yeah if I zoom in you can see that we're making lower highs on the RSI higher highs on the price chart but that's really only an indication because you know we had several bearish divergences along the way here not too much has happened and these diagonals as you can see for example on the um, Cardano chart as well they can extend out quite a bit you know a fair bit now if you take a look now on the four hour um, MACD you can see that we had a bearish cross over here but price hasn't confirmed it yet so again it's something to watch I think this might be getting towards the end of this rally um, but I think it can still push up a little bit more um, especially as you might consider that from a more let's say traditional point of view something like a bear flag here so if we go to the one hour chart you can actually um, see that and we might be able to draw here a trend line at least this way here at the top so I have a boundary line there which connects uh, these highs together I don't even know and I don't even need a lower one but um, yeah I guess here you know if you get a breakout to the upside same way as we had it here uh, if you get a breakout up this could push higher and I would then expect in the first instance the 2285 level to be reached and possibly even higher. But zooming out as well, you know, um, the five waves could really be nearly complete. And I think we might be pushing up in this ending diagonal. And then for anybody who wants to enter again, you know, we could look for this wave two entry point, but that will need to move up as we go higher. And um, at the moment there is no indication wave one is topped. And therefore, you know, anybody who entered here in this um, green support area the idea is you know you can still obviously move up your stop loss um, below the last swing low and um, but that's up to you where you set your stop loss I just want to remind you that it might be worth uh, reducing risk here as we go higher okay and that's my update about AVEX I hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye